It's only the weekends Just looking for a reason To remember the song So we'll stay a while Moving to the music I can see a smile Thinking that I've lost my mind And you're the reason Hello beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Leanne. And today, as you guys can see from the title, from these books behind me, we're back with another reading vlog. This reading vlog is probably gonna go on for a while, I wanna say. We're getting through my TBR, my physical TBR, because it's very large and it's bad. Today, I checked my Goodreads shelf and I have 78 books on my physical TBR, you guys. How did this happen? How do I do this to myself every single time? And it's like, hmm, I just keep buying books. So like, do you see the dilemma here, right? So this reading vlog is going to be dedicated to me getting through my physical TBR. I do have a goal for this year of getting my physical TBR down to 50. Now that is very ambitious. I'm hoping that I can do it, but like, Fingers crossed, you know? This is the video for that. I don't know how long this video is gonna go on for. I just kinda wanna read some of my physical TBR with you guys. If you like these types of reading vlogs and stuff like that, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Let's try to get this video over 100 likes. Let's try. Anyways, the first book that we will be finishing off in this reading vlog to start it off is Hot House Flower by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I'm pretty sure I have like under 40 pages left of this book. I was trying to finish this before I started filming this video, but I just didn't end up finishing it. So. We're we're gonna finish this really, really quickly. This is like the fifth book in the Addicted slash Calloway Sisters interconnected series. I'm loving it so far. I already know it's gonna be a five stars. I've been waiting for Reich and Daisy's book for a very long time. They are definitely a loved couple by me. And we're just gonna get this reading vlog started with a book that's already gonna be five stars. We also have my coffee, drink of the day. Are we surprised? Probably not. I don't even know what book I'm gonna pick up after this. You guys are gonna have to help me pick. Well, you're gonna be there when I pick because you guys can't really help me, sadly, but I'm excited to finish this though. No. Things need to like get fixed right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I, I need to finish this. <laughs> Guys, last chapter. I don't even know what to think. Like, so many things have just happened in the last, like, 50 pages of this book. I'm, like, just shocked. So, we're gonna see how it ends. But let's just say the ending's really good. I mean, there's still last chapter. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love with them. So in love with them, you have no idea. I just have no words right now. I need to like, let this soak in. It's gonna sit with me, but five stars, 100%. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking cute. I do have the epilogue still, and the epilogue's like almost 50 pages, so I'm gonna read that later tonight, and I'll be back in the morning with like some overall thoughts, you know? you guys it's the next day i've let my thoughts sink in a little bit about this book and 
I don't want to tell you guys too much only because it's the fifth one in the series. We're pretty far into it. I'd say there's 10 books in the series in total. So I don't want to give too much, but all you need to know is that it's Frank and Daisy's book. Literally one of my favorite couples out of this whole series. I don't know. I'm just so in love with this book. I've taken the night to think about it and I just love it so much. I know I said in past videos that this year I'm really, really trying to like not just easily hand out five stars, but this one deserves it. Like I'm justifying it to myself that this one deserves the five stars because I got the perfect amount of everyone in this book. I got lots of Lily and Lowe. I got lots of Rose and Connor. I got everyone together. Mainly Rike and Daisy though, which is what I wanted, but an equal amount, I'd say, of the other characters, which I love because I love all of them. So I want to know about all of them and all the books that I read. So I think it was just so perfect. But yeah, five stars for sure. I'm so excited to pick up Thrive. I already have it. So I'm definitely going to read that soon because like I need to know. I need to know more. <laughs> but we are picking up our next book which I have decided. It took me a while to figure out because I didn't know if I wanted to read another romance. I didn't know what type of book I wanted to pick up, but I was supposed to read this this month and I didn't. So we're a little late, but I do really, really want to read Final Girls by Riley Sager. It's one of his best sellers out of his backlist and I've had it forever and I just have not read it. And I love Riley Sager as an author. So I just thought, you know what, let's give it a try. Plus I've been in a romance kick lately. So I feel like I need to switch some gears and throw in a very, very dark dark book. From what I know about it, it's gonna be dark. It's basically like a group that are called the final girls because they all survived like a deadly massacre that happened in their lives. They were separate instances, but they're known as the final girls because each girl survived like a crazy massacre that they shouldn't have survived. That's basically all I know. That's all I'm gonna tell you guys because I don't know anything else. But with Riley Sager's books, I love to go into them blind. That's exactly what we're gonna do. It's not that long of a book, but the text is so small. So we're gonna see how long this takes me to finish. We're gonna start it today. My plan is mostly just to read today other than do some editing, but I do want to go to a cafe. I want to go to Panera Bread because I just love working there. It's a different environment for once than my house, and I feel like if I'm out at a cafe, it will motivate me to not only edit, but to also get into my book. And plus, I just need a coffee. Let's be honest here. Always need a coffee. That's what we're doing. I just finished working out and I made a coffee. As you guys saw, use my code for money off your Javi coffee. It's literally the best at home coffee I can tell you guys or recommend to you guys. It is the best, I'm telling you. Changed my mind about making coffees at home. Anyways, besides that, I do have a reading update for Final Girls by Riley Sager. It's been a few days, I can't lie. I think this is the third day of me reading this book and I'm only on page 70 chapter nine and like here's my thought process okay hear me out every single time i start a riley sager book i love them overall they're normally really really good books and leaves me like what the just happened. I did not guess that Riley Sager blew my mind once again. But the problem with starting his books is I need to get used to his writing style all over again. His writing's just very complex. And with the other books I've been reading recently, like my little cringy little romances, you know, that like you don't really need a lot of thought process or you're just reading it and you're like, oh, this is so cute. So with his books, it's taken me a little bit of time to really get into it because there's just so much to uncover like right at the beginning because he's setting up the whole book and there's a lot of like different things 
things going on so many characters names so many different povs and situations that happened years ago and then it flips to the present and like it's just a lot going on and i haven't read one of his books in a while so it's taking me some time can't lie but i'm really liking it so far because we're obviously in the present but there are a few chapters that go back in time from when quincy was at the cottage pine cottage where her massacre happened we're slowly throughout the novel getting the full story of what happened that night because technically we still don't know what happened who did it anything about that situation other than the main thing that happened that she was the only survivor from that incident so i like how the povs are switching and stuff like that and then not only that we also just found out that one of the final girls out of the three of them has died it's deemed as suicide but the other two final girls believe that there's something more to that it's not just suicide so there's a whole investigation going on for that and also there's just some like questionable people getting introduced to the book that quincy and her boyfriend are kind of iffy on they're suspicious they don't trust why these people are just coming into their lives all of a sudden that's all i've gotten from this book so far we're 70 pages in it's super short and the chapters aren't long at all we're gonna have to see right now it's currently sitting at like 3.754 but i'm not even halfway in so i can't really give it an official rating so far but those are your updates right now i am planning on starting another book alongside this one because I feel like I, I need something fluffy going on with this you know so we might start another book tomorrow maybe I don't know I'm just trying to think of ways that I can like get my TBR down as fast as possible we're gonna continue this for this afternoon it's currently 218 so I'm gonna read for a little bit see where we get and I'll obviously keep you guys updated with how everything happens and all the shocking moments that I'm gonna discover in this book because it's Riley Sager. We all know my jaw is going to get dropped. <laughs> Why did she have to come into their lives if she's just gonna leave? She is suspicious, I'm telling you. Something about her, I'm not gonna say who. Something's not right. Like, she didn't just come back out of hiding for no reason. She's up to something, and I'm gonna figure it out. You make this he has a point. Oh, oh. You're the only one who knows me. Such a baby when I'm crazy. Tell all my colors show I get lost in those hazy eyes I'm scared, officially I'm in love with these lazy nights So maybe we can stay back, stay back You guys, you guys you guys this book took such a major turn so fast like i was reading last night and i had to put the book down because i was so terrified like ugh. this book's just giving major creepy vibes to the point where i don't know what to think i don't know what's gonna happen i'd say i'm almost halfway i'm at page 166 chapter 20 and let's just say Riley Sager knows how to take the book up a notch. But like the thing is, is I'm just kind of confused because I think I'm right in my guess. But then again, that's what Riley Sager wants me to think. He wants me to think this one thing that's clearly obvious. So it's probably not going to be right, but I want it to be right because I want to finally be able to guess one of his books. But I have two theories going on in my head. So we'll see if I'm right. We'll see like what happens, but we're going to finish this. I really want to finish this to be honest. But hold on, I'm getting a book said book i also really really want to start icebreaker i've been wanting to read this book for so long you guys and it's on my tbr this month i feel like i'm gonna switch between these two i'm gonna start this later today but i want to put a little bit more of a dent in this i have like three books going on one on my phone and then i'm gonna have these two i think i want to annotate this should i annotate this i don't know that's a story for another time but i might start this it's like a hockey romance between a hockey player and an ice skater like a figure skater Perfect and I heard it's really spicy so that's perfect for me especially pairing with it with this one considering like how dark and stuff This one is right now. This book is kind of sitting at like a four out of five It's nothing special, but like if the end blows my mind then it could be like 4.5 I don't see this book being at five stars though, but we'll see we'll see we never know and then we'll be off my TBR Yay Hold on, need some answers. Do whatever you want me no. No, 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 no. Keep me from floating away. Stop. Baby, you leave me with nothing to say. What a weird way 
way to end that book but I'm speechless. Completely and utterly speechless. What? Okay. Gotta fix my angle there a little bit. My hair's still wet from the shower, so don't mind that, but... This book. I don't even know what to think. Why do Riley Sager's books make me feel this way? Every single time I finish one of his books, it's like... I stare at a wall. Like, I do not understand how he gets me every single time. This one, I'll be honest, wasn't as mind-blowing as his other ones that I've read. The only one left, that one got me. And Survive the Night, that one got me. But this one, it was written so well. This is definitely one of my favorite ones mystery-wise. I did not know what was gonna happen next. The way he set up this book was perfect. And he didn't forget any little detail because now that we know the answers, all of it's adding up. But you think back into your brain and you're like, why didn't I see it? It was like right there in front of my face. But Riley Sager definitely got me again, but this one was definitely not jaw dropping. Like, oh my gosh, I could have never imagined it being that. Cause I had little tiny questions about the person that it was, but the way that Riley Sager wrote it, he made sure that you didn't think that was the final answer. He made sure there was other people that you were guessing before you thought it was the actual real person, right? Oh, I can't say too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna recoup for a second. Quick little angle change. Cause I am gonna fill out my reading journal for the book I just finished. This is my favorite part about finishing books now, guys. It's been motivating me to get through my TBR. This is what it's looking like so far. I'm like so obsessed with it. So I'm gonna color it in while I'm talking to you guys about this book because mm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I think I'm gonna honestly rate it a four out of five to find my four star color. I think it's just a solid four out of five. It's not my favorite Riley Sager book that I've ever read, but it's also not my least favorite. But then again, I also feel like I can't even really tell you guys about what the book was really about because in my personal opinion, I think it's the best to go into Riley Sager's books completely blind when you have no idea what is going to happen because that's what I like to do with his books and it always ends up working out perfectly and I'm always shocked every single time that I finished reading one of his books. I just finished coloring in our 14th little book. That means I've read 14 books this year so far. That's not terrible for going into March. I mean, I wish it was kind of higher, but we're on track with our goal. Goodreads is not yelling at me yet that I'm behind on my goal, so that's good. But yeah, I'd say the plot of this book is absolutely amazing. Like the plot twist at the end was really good. I'll give it to Riley Sager. It was really good. That's all there is to say. So I'm happy I finished this book because I've been wanting to read it for a while because I love his books, which you can see why, because I'm I'm literally speechless right now. I can't even put my words together to explain my actual feelings towards this book because genuinely I'm at a loss for words. I have like, I don't know. I'm gonna let my thoughts sink a little bit more, but I think my rating isn't really gonna change. But if I have any more thoughts to tell you guys about this book, I will definitely come back to it. But right now, like you can tell from how I'm speaking, I, they're just jumbled. Everything's jumbled right now. So another book down for this reading vlog. I am gonna start Icebreaker today. It's a super, super nice day. So I want to read on the porch for the first time this year because spring is officially here. So this is getting good. First chapter and we're already getting spicy. I heard this book was gonna be spicy guys, but first chapter I'm in for a wild one. I'm in for a wild ride on me girl You guys I need to update you on icebreaker by Hannah Grace I am obsessed with this book. You guys have no idea. I made it to page 76 already. I was flying through the book, almost forgot to update you guys like I always do. But first impressions update, obviously, because whew, we're getting steamy already. Well, not really steamy. It's just a lot of sexual talk. Like there's no actual spice scenes yet, I wanna say. It's mostly just talking about it, stuff like that, you know? Definitely gonna be a spicy book like I 
mentioned at the beginning, but I'm loving it. And that's like the only way that I can explain it. I just love the author's writing. I think that's what's making me love this book so much because I don't know enough of the plot or I don't know enough about the characters yet to really say that's why I love it. It's mostly just the author's writing, which is so good. It's so easy to read. I'm loving it. But Nathan and Anastasia, they officially have met. They're still not on good terms because like the main conflict in the book is that one of the rinks at their school got destroyed. So there's one rink for the figure skaters and one rink for the the NHL slash pro hockey players basically to practice and because one of them is out of order right now they now have to share the rink and they have to collide each other's schedules and make something work so they don't get as much practice time and now they have to actually interact with each other and butt heads a lot so that's our main conflict of this whole book and this has already happened now so now we're kind of getting Anastasia and Nathan trying to get along enough for their teams to be able to work together and practice basically so everyone wins it's just so cute because Nathan can get any girl that he wants. He's a hockey player and all these girls are falling at his feet but Nathan is especially drawn to Anastasia because she's one of the only girls that won't fall at his feet and he actually has to work for her. So that's why he's mostly drawn to her so far that we know and Anastasia is not letting up. She is not giving in to a hockey boy. She hates hockey boys. She's made it very clear at the beginning of the book so it's just really cool to see the guy just want this girl so bad instead of it being the other way around and I'm just loving it. They're banter is everything, just all the characters surrounding them is everything, like the friends of Anastasia and Nathan, everything's just really good. My guess of a rating is going to be like 4.5 out of 5, unless it's just mind-blowing. If I'm keeping this mindset that I have now throughout the whole book, it could be a 5 stars, but like I said, I'm being more harsh with my ratings. So we're not giving 5 stars out as easily like we did last year. We'll have to see if this lives up to the 5 stars, but like I said, I'm enjoying this so much and I can't wait to read more into it. And yeah, that's about all the updates I have for you guys right now. Look at how freaking cute my bookmark is. It's literally a hockey romance bookmark. I'll have the shop link down below. Check out her bookmarks. They're amazing, but we're going to continue reading and I'm probably going to pick up another book to read alongside this one. So you might see me pick up another book. We'll have to see. But for right now, this is what we're going to be reading. I forgot what chapter I stopped at last night and picking this up now, but like, it's kind of steamy. She said she's only there on weekends, just looking for a reason to remember the song. So we'll stay a while. To the music, I can see a smile thinking that I've lost my mind. I have a few updates for you guys regarding some of the books I've been picking up and binging since the last time I talked to you guys. So we all know that I was reading Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Absolutely loving this book, like I say in every update so far, but I made it to page 237, chapter 27, and we have dual POV, obviously, so we're on Anastasia's chapter. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have been binging this book. I honestly just wanted to finish it and then give you guys my overall thoughts because I know it's going to be very exciting when I tell you guys how I'm like really feeling about this book. Also, don't mind how I look right now. I just finished working out. I'm a sweaty mess, but I really, really want to read before the sun goes down so I can like do a little montage clip for you guys. I cannot say enough good things about this book, to be honest. I'm leaning towards the five stars, you guys, and that is so terrible because we're only like seven days into March and I already want to rate this five stars. And last month I rated three books five stars, so I really got to chill on the five stars. But the way this book is making me feel, you guys. A few things that I can say so far in the book is that Stassi, which is like her nickname, she's a figure skater, obviously, and Nathan's the hockey player, but we finally just got now, more than halfway through the book, where where Nathan steps in and becomes Stassi's figure skating partner so she can compete because Stassi's partner, something bad happens to him and he can't compete. So now Nathan steps up and is her partner. A hockey player is trying to do figure skating. It is sort of a slow burn in my opinion. And I know a lot of people said that about this book, but I'm loving it. Like it's not slow in an annoying slash boring way because this book has me hooked, obviously. I've been binging it the last two days. That's the part we're currently at right now. But one thing that I can say that I really, really, really love is that if you know the stereotype behind hockey players and stuff that they're kind of assholes. like let's be honest here a lot of them are said to be assholes and just like their personality and stuff but the way that Nathan's hockey buddies interact with Stassi and her best friend and just like how they're all kind of friends it makes me really happy and kind of gives me a second opinion on hockey boys and stuff like that because it's nice to see that 
all of his teammates are in love with Stassi, just like Nathan is. Not in that way, obviously, like in a friendship way, but it's just really, really nice to see everyone getting like along and building really, really good friendships. So I don't know. Things are going really well in the book so far. Obviously, we know that the book is not going to stay like that. Something bad is probably going to happen, but I'm ready for it. I'm just nervous to see how it ends. We don't have too much left of this book, but loving it so much. I also started reading really good actually by Monica Heisey a few nights ago, but this was the one book on my TBR this month that I was not really feeling. I wasn't really excited to pick it up so I impulsively subscribed to Audible the other night and I was thinking to myself if I don't really feel like physically reading this book I could always listen to it so I started listening to this book while I was journaling one night I got two hours through it and it's okay like it's funny but very just mad like it's very boring and then last night I decided to read along with the book when I'm listening to the audiobook with my headphones and I absolutely love doing that if you guys have not tried that yet I highly recommend I know a lot of people do that but this is my first time doing it and I absolutely loved the experience I got because I was still reading the book and understood what was going on in front of me but I was having someone read it to me so it was just really really good and it kind of immersed me into the story a little bit more so I highly recommend doing that but for this book the chapters are really weird in it but I made it to page 153 so we're like inching up to the halfway point and this book's very meh the character it follows Maggie is just kind of uninteresting and she's kind of just navigating her life and figuring out what to do with herself after getting a divorce three months after being married. That's kind of the whole premise of the book and she's just trying a bunch of new hobbies, trying to love herself again and she just turned 30. She's trying to figure out where to go with her life now. She's dating again impulsively like with a bunch of tinder dates and stuff which is kind of interesting. I mean she's just kind of going a little bit crazy right now because she doesn't know what to do with herself and she's still in love with her ex-husband that broke up with her or divorced her. That's what's going on in this book. Right now the rating is just sitting at like a 2.5. I'm just not interested in it and I honestly would DNF this book if I wasn't listening to it like as the audiobook. If I had to physically read this without the audiobook, I probably would have DNF'd it already, but I'm curious to see what ends up happening and seeing the growth of Maggie overall and see what she ends up doing with her life. That part is at least still keeping me hooked. So those are the updates with our two books that I have going on right now. Obviously we have a big variety with this one being more literary fiction and this being a very spicy romance. I think I'm gonna continue reading slash listening to the audiobook of Really Good actually for right now. Just so I can kind of like get this off my radar and put a bigger dent in it. So we're going to listen to it and read it and see if it gets any better. Because right now... I'm not loving it guys. I'm not. But I'm not gonna DNF it yet because it's not terrible to the point where I physically cannot stand it anymore. Let's hope it can go up from there so I don't have to DNF it because I really don't want to make this my first DNF of the year. <laughs> Okay, I can't really hear myself talking. I look like an egg. I can't really hear myself talking, so hopefully I'm not yelling, but it's just something about this main character just making some really bad decisions. She just seems very desperate after coming out of this divorce and I don't know how I feel about it because I hate when main characters aren't reliable and they're just kind of throwing themselves everywhere and that's kind of what Maggie's doing. And I know she's going through a lot, don't get me wrong. I feel for her with her situation, but at the same time, I just girl don't make these decisions it's gonna hurt you so bad in the long run so i don't know you guys i'm not vibing this book but i'm happy to get it off my physical tbr at the same time got a look inside her eyes a glimpse above the skies it could be the reason why so we'll stay a while move into the music i can see a smile we're about to finish icebreaker i have 30 pages left and all you need to know is that one, I'm loving it, and two, this is the spiciest romance I've ever read in my life. But I'm eating it up. Thinking that I've lost my mind And you're the reason why Don't look, don't look down The tension, it's getting too intense for me. <laughs> Cause both our feet have left the ground 
I knew it. I hate him. I hate him so much. I'm not ready for this, you guys. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I just, oh my gosh. I can't. I can't. Don't look, don't look down. Cause both our feet have left the ground. Don't look, don't look down. We're dancing over shrinking town. Oh my gosh. Why am I tearing up? Like, happy tears right now. This is why the epilogues are so important to read, you guys. They're important. I don't know how people don't like reading epilogues. They just like wrap up the story perfectly. And if I didn't read the epilogue, I would have no idea that was gonna happen. Okay, fix the angle a little bit, calm down a little bit. I'm just like so excited right now for both Nathan and Anastasia. I can't, guys. Oh, I just need just need to take a breather, okay. I did not think I was gonna love a hockey romance as much as I did, you guys. Why did I not pick one of these up sooner? Because I am officially obsessed. I need to read the next one I have on my shelf. I need to read all the ones on Kindle Unlimited that I have shelved. Oh my gosh, like I have been introduced to a whole new world of reading and I'm just so freaking obsessed. Anyways, if you can't tell by my reaction, this is going to be a five stars. The last book I just finished on Kindle Unlimited was a five stars, so second five stars in a row, yay. I'm gonna let my thoughts sink on this, but all you need to know is that I absolutely freaking ate it up. When I pick my next book tomorrow, we will have some thoughts on this. I need to let my thoughts and review sink in a little bit, but five stars. That's all I need to say. That's it. <laughs> Hello you guys, I have some updates obviously for you guys, but can I just say I'm so happy because we just had like daylight savings or whatever. Is that what it's called? Daylight savings? Yes, daylight savings. So we get a little bit more light during our day and the sun doesn't set until a little bit later and I'm so happy about it, you guys have no idea, which means I have more time during the day to film. So I have good lighting for you guys, so yay. Anyways, we have a bunch of updates to get through right now. We need to circle a little bit back and we need to talk about Icebreaker because you guys know from my reaction yesterday. I love this book. There's nothing more I can really tell you guys because it's a hockey romance. It's pretty cliche, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty predictable, except the epilogue got me. I was not expecting the things that went down in the epilogue to go down, and it ate. It ate every single second up. It definitely is extremely spicy. If you don't like a lot of smut in a book, I definitely don't recommend this book. <laughs> every other chapter, there's basically like some smut going on, and it goes pretty in detail. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely one of the spiciest books I've read, I can say, but I mean, I mean, I loved it. Definitely really, really spicy, but overall it was such an amazing book and I highly recommend. And it is a part of a series, like the Maple Hill series. So I'm excited to pick up, I think the next one's Wildfire, I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited to see who that one's about in this universe and yeah. Five stars, nothing more I can say. And then I decided that the next book we're gonna pick up is The Murder Game by Carrie Doyle. I was debating between a lot of books on my TBR right now because if you guys know from my TBR video for March, I'm trying to get through my whole entire March TBR. We're gonna see if it happens. I mean, I'm making good progress so far. So this is one of the ones on the TBR and it's also my book club pick for March with my Patreon. So make sure you check that link if you guys wanna join that or just my Patreon in general. So I wanna get this out of the way now so I can make sure that this book club pick is done for the month and I don't leave it for last minute and then not end up reading it with my Patreon. I don't know much about this. It is a YA murder mystery. I also looked at the genres and it said it was horror. I don't do well with horror movies, horror books, anything to do with anything horror. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm very, very, very nervous, but yeah. That's basically all I know. I know that there's two boys, they decide to sneak out of their boarding school to go meet up with some girls, but then come daylight and there's a body found in the woods that they were at. And now, instead of admitting where they were, the group decides to solve the murder on their own, but with so many suspects, will they be able to catch the killer before the killer catches them? 
I mean, it seems intriguing, and plus it's YA, so hopefully it'll be fast-paced, and we'll just see how it goes. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, this is my reading journal. I did add some fancy stickers. If you guys want more in-depth updates about my reading journal, let me know down below, because I'll throw it in a video somewhere. I kind of want to do, like, a monthly reset every month, starting in April, coming up. So I feel like I can feature a big chunk of that video for my reading journal, because I don't really know what other video to throw it in, but let me know if you guys even want that, and then I'll try to figure something out. But I added some cute little stickers. I made this one spread that I'm going to continue doing from now on that will help me get through my TBR. But we have our March cover page right here. She's looking gorgeous. I was getting like those spring vibes. Then we have our March TBR spread. And this is the one that I wanted to show you guys. This is my TBR for March. So I'm going to try to get through all of the books here. Let's hope I can. And then I already started doing my little book spread for Icebreaker because I want to do a specific spread for that because I just love the book so much. And if you don't know what I mean, these are kind of my specific book spreads but this is not a reading journal video but I just wanted to show you guys that new March TBR spread that I did that I want to start doing from now on just because I feel like it has already really really helped me get through my TBR so far and I feel like it will help overall so I thought it could be a fun little cute idea I'm gonna stop blabbering and we are going to start the murder game we're gonna see how it is I mean I'm not that excited to get into this book so that's not a good start but we're gonna see how it goes because I've been talking for way 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 too long Okay, you guys, first update because I feel like I just need to say what's on my mind after literally just reading one chapter. That's all it took. One chapter. We're only 12 pages into this already, and I need to just talk about it. So this book... Like, it's not, it's not bad. I feel like I'm kind of ruining it for myself because I'm going into it with the mindset, like I said to you guys, like, I'm not that excited to read this book, you know? Like, out of the books on my TBR and stuff right now, like, I'm not excited to read this one, and I feel like that's maybe my problem right now. But first of all, there's so much foreshadowing going on that it's kind of annoying. And normally that doesn't happen, but to me, I'm just annoyed with the foreshadowing right now because they're trying to throw in so many details in the first 12 pages. I'm like, okay, you need to slow down, slowly work up the past, and bringing it into the foreshadowing part of it, you know? Like, I feel like the author's just throwing so much things at us right now that it's making not that enjoyable. And also, I skipped ahead to the second chapter to see how long the second chapter was because I was going to read another chapter before updating you guys. But the chapters are like 15-20 pages long. And if you know me, that's like... That's unnecessary. We need like 10 page chapters and stuff. So I don't understand why, especially for a YA book, why are there such long chapters? I don't know. The writing is also kind of hard to get used to right now. But once again, I'm only 12 pages in, so I can't be so critical, you know? But that's the first update right now, how I'm sort of feeling about it not off to a great start but we're gonna see we're gonna push through and we're gonna keep going and we're gonna see what ends up happening i don't know Okay, you guys, my SD card is about to run out of storage, so I'm gonna give you guys an update really quickly. I'm currently at page 205, chapter 20, apparently. I guess 20. I don't know, the chapters are like weird. Anyways, I'm just like not vibing with this book. I feel like it's just not the mood I'm in to be reading a murder mystery slash thriller, so I feel like that's why I'm not vibing with it. But I'm also just like not loving the characters. It's interesting how it's a boarding school situation. Like I haven't read about boarding schools before, so that's kind of interesting to see like how they live and what that's all like and how that feels. But I don't know. It's basically between Luke and Oscar, their best friends, and a murder goes down and they snuck out during the murder but they supposedly didn't do anything but now the cops and stuff are suspecting Oscar, Luke's best friend, that he's the one who did it. They're bringing him into custody and questioning him and they took him off campus and he's not allowed to be there anymore because they think he literally did it because they found evidence against him for this supposed murder that happened. So now Luke's trying to find
find the actual killer before the cops can to prove that Oscar's innocent and plus just so then they can find the killer. So I don't really know because Oscar to me seems really suspicious. So I don't know what that's all about, but he could be the one who did it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm just like not really liking it. At least the chapters have gotten a lot shorter. Like the chapters are only eight to 10 pages now, which I'm very grateful for because at the beginning they were definitely like 15, 20 pages, which is just too much for me. <laughs> that, those are all the updates right now for this book. I'm probably just gonna finish it and then give you guys the update or give my reaction to the ending because it is a murder mystery. So I want to see the plot twist and stuff like that. But yeah, there's not too many updates going on in this book. It's nothing special to say the least. Smooth as stones, sitting with the river's bones, glimmer with the white of passing light in this unknown. And sprouting seeds, pushing through the forest green. Hello, you guys. Long time no chat. Well, to me, we haven't chatted in a long time, but to you guys, it will be like a couple of seconds. I didn't forget about this reading vlog. I've been working on it for over a month now, but I wanna tell you guys that the books that I've recently picked up throughout this reading vlog, like towards the end, they haven't been the greatest, as you guys have saw from my reviews and reactions and stuff like that. So I've been kind of prioritizing my Kindle Unlimited books that I've been picking up because I'm loving those. And I just hate when that happens because I'm trying to get through my physical TBR and obviously Kindle Unlimited books are not on my physical TBR, you know, but look how pretty she is. You got a haircut and you look so pretty. I do have some major updates for you guys though because I haven't updated this in so long. So the last time we talked, I was just about to finish The Murder Game by Carrie Doyle. This is my book club pick for the month, so I wanted to get this done ahead of time and just get it out of the way because I knew it wasn't going to be a five star, so I just wanted to get it over with. I told you guys I was going to film my reaction to the ending of this book, but trust me, it is nothing special. I was about to pull out my camera and then I was like, my reaction isn't gonna be anything crazy. And to be honest, I did finish this book like three, four days ago and I don't even remember what happened at the end. That's how anticlimactic it was. That's how boring it was. It just, ugh, something about this book, I just did not like the writing, the characters, the plot. Like it was just messy all over the place. My Patreons got to hear it all about me ranting about this book, but I did end up rating this two out of five stars. It's just nothing special. I'm happy to have it off my physical TBR, so I, haven't been staring at it and wanting to read it in the future, you know? Thankfully, this was my book club pick this month, so I got it out of the way. Definitely not a favorite. Definitely don't really recommend this book, to be honest. There's definitely way better thrillers and stuff, murder mysteries that you guys could pick up, and I just feel like this one's a waste of time. Sadly, I feel so bad rating books that low, but that was our lowest star so far this year. I also have been reading really good, actually, by Monica Heisey. I am still listening to the audiobook. I do really want to finish this because I'm currently on page 220. 21 and we don't have too much left but again this book just isn't hitting for me you guys i feel like it's just too boring and i get what the author's trying to talk about and i get what messages she's trying to portray to us readers but at the same time it's also very anticlimactic it is more literary fiction i'm pretty sure or sorry it is more general fiction i'm pretty sure it's definitely character driven there's not a plot at all in this book i mentioned this in my book x video but if i don't like the main characters or just the characters in general i will not be connected to this book I will not be drawn towards picking up this book like that's how I feel right now is that I don't really like our main character I feel like she's just being over dramatic at this point like we have read this much of the book and she's still complaining about her breakup she's still not like having any growth at all so this one also is not a vibe um which I'm really sad because this reading vlog started off so good with me picking up pretty good books like books I thoroughly enjoyed obviously all books aren't going to be like that so we are currently in that situation but hopefully I'm going to finish this before the end of this reading vlog hopefully and that brings us to the next book we're gonna try to pick up because I just need something new a little refresher so I am gonna start the way I used to be by Amber Smith I've heard so many good things about this book but I've also heard some very mad things about this book it's kind of giving me girl in pieces vibes not in the same context at all but just kind of what I've heard people say in the reviews it's definitely giving girl in pieces and I really thoroughly did not enjoy that book so I'm hoping that's not gonna be anything like that but please check trigger warnings about this book I'll put them up on the screen but this book is supposed to be not light at all and it's talking about some 
very serious subjects that can be extremely triggering for others. Definitely check the trigger warnings if you want to pick this up and I'll let you guys read the description if it's something you guys want to read. I haven't picked up one of these in a while and I feel like with the other books I've picked up throughout this reading vlog, this could be a kind of a refresher for me because it's something different. So hopefully that will make me enjoy this a little bit more. And plus this is on my March TBR as well and I'm trying so hard to get through my March TBR. This is the book we're going to read. I'm excited to get into it, but look, it is not floppy at all. Where's the flop? The book is not floppy at all. Look at the flop in this book. <laughs> That's a book ick of mine too. Anyways, hopefully it will be a good read and we're just gonna start it and see how it goes. Making up the way and day by day they'll turn the trees. Winter falls just a spring to summer's call. We do that, we're just human after all. That's a really good quote. Page six already. It says, His fingerprints not only all over every inch of me, but all over everything. This house, my life, the world infected with him. I already know I'm gonna really enjoy this author's writing. I already have a feeling. Sun or snow, all the life it seems to know. And all we have. This is part of how it goes, how it goes This I know I'm coming at you with first update already because there's a few things I want to say. I'm only at page 25. This is kind of how the chapters are set up, which is kind of interesting. There's no number or anything. It's just a start of a new paragraph. I'm really thoroughly actually enjoying the author's writing already. We already jumped into like one of the main conflicts that is going to be happening in this book, which deals with Eden's brother's best friend that she's known her whole entire life and something really, really bad happens to her. And right now she's still just in the denial stage or just like, wanting to pretend that it didn't happen. She's trying to convince herself that it was all made up in her head because she never, ever, ever would have thought that Kevin would do anything like that. So definitely the first two, three chapters was very, very hard to read right off the bat. We're just jumping right into it, which is another reason why really, really make sure you check the trigger warnings because already it's extremely graphic, but what the author's trying to tell you in this book, it's very needed for it to be graphic. I'm just giving you guys that warning in case that's not something you want to read about. But besides the words on the page being so extremely small. Our chapters are pretty short, so it's just kind of making me already feel like, okay, just one more chapter, you know? But I wanted to give you guys a first update before I forget, and while we're early into the book, because my thoughts could definitely change in a second, like, so fast, so right now I'm telling you guys how I feel. Yeah, it's okay so far. We're gonna keep reading, see if it can get better, see if it gets worse. We're just gonna have to see. Little birds jumping out the nest to learn You're never gonna fly but staying high in this unknown And timid stars Stay. You guys, I accidentally binged this. <laughs> I literally updated you guys last time when I was on what, like 25-ish pages? <laughs> Tell me how. I've already made it to part three. Yesterday, I just was binging the crap out of this book. I'm genuinely liking it so much, way more than I thought I was going to. And honestly, I think a big thing to do with that is the author's writing. It's beautifully written, and I feel like I say this all about a lot of books that deal with more serious topics, but I do think that the author is discussing these very, very well, and I think she's spreading amazing awareness dealing with these things, if that makes sense. And I'm just really enjoying the whole story going on. And not only that, but <sighs> the problem is, is some of these characters are pretty unlikable or kind of just messily written, if that makes sense. They don't have a lot of depth to them, but I feel like we're only halfway, so those characters that are still kind of on the surface, I feel like we're gonna get a little bit more, hopefully, throughout the book a little bit more, so hoping for that. But either way, like, I'm loving this. It's definitely a four plus star so far, depending on, obviously, the second half of the book, but specifically, I'm on page 183, technically, but I'm hoping to finish this today or get pretty close between this one and 
and really good actually by Monica Heisey that I'm still listening to. I cannot bring myself to pick up that book, you guys. It's actually getting quite insane how I'm still freaking reading that book. So hopefully I'll be able to finish both of these to end off my month along with Final Offer, which I'm reading on Kindle Unlimited. But we're gonna continue reading this. really bad feeling about this. Oh, guys. Now that we're in part four, I'm kind of nervous to see like what Eden's gonna do from here because yes, she's moving on with her life after this incident But like she still hasn't told anyone this angle is atrocious. I'm sorry guys, but she still hasn't told anyone about the incident that happened with her brother's best friend and not only that there's still so many like unsolved problems with her brother her parents and just like still finding herself and I'm sorry what happened to the one guy? If you've read this book, you probably know who I'm talking about, but he was in like the first and second part of this book. But like, what happened to him now? Like that whole part of the book has just been disregarded completely and it's kind of left unfinished. The last part is about like 100 pages, a little bit over. And I hope that we kind of get something more on that because that was definitely left unfinished and I'm definitely asking questions about that. Yeah, we have a little bit over 100 pages. My bookly is tracking my reading process for me, but I'm just excited to see how this ends and like, how everything gets kind of wrapped up because there's so many loose ends right now. That is kind of making me annoyed, but I'm still really enjoying the book. Still, I'd say four stars. Could be above. I don't see it going below a four stars. You guys. Ugh. I'm finishing this book right now. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. Okay, this one quote I literally just wanted to share with you guys because there's 367 pages in the book. I'm on page 350 and this quote, oh my gosh, just these last like two chapters are really getting to me, but this quote says, I get the feeling that his arms are the only thing holding these broken pieces of me together and I don't ever want him to let go. That's a quote. That is such a beautiful sentence. Oh, you guys. I literally have just been binging this book because I genuinely do not want it to end or I just want to figure out what is going to happen to Eden. Like, oh, she's become so close to me and I've learned her whole story. So now I just feel for her almost. I just want to give her a big hug and knowing her whole entire story now just makes my heart hurt so much. And I just really hope that she gets a happy ending. I'm going to finish this. We literally have about like 15 pages left, I want to say. And obviously, Obviously, I will film my reaction for you guys, but it's definitely going to be a tough one finishing this book 100%. This book was heavy. It was a heavy, heavy, heavy read, you guys. I don't even know what to say right now, you guys. Oh, It was a beautiful story. I really, really enjoyed this. It's just, it's a lot to process because it's definitely not one of those cute little rom-coms that you just read to enjoy and have fun that are like hearted. This is the complete opposite. And it was just so heavy. That's like the only word that keeps coming to my brain right now because my brain's definitely in a fog after reading this and if you've read this i'm sure maybe you felt the same way or you kind of can understand what i'm saying everyone obviously is different with their opinions and feelings towards books dealing with different topics but
but maybe you guys can relate if you guys have read this on the way that I'm feeling and explaining this book right now. But I definitely think my thoughts definitely need to sink in for this one. This is definitely not one I can just explain everything I'm feeling right now because there's just so many emotions going on in my brain and in my heart right now. But I will give you guys an immediate rating that I do have for this book. And I think I am honestly going to give it a four out of five only because I'm trying to be harsher with my ratings like I've mentioned probably a thousand times in this video and other videos that I've been making recently. And personally, I think this one was just a little bit shy of five stars. I'm gonna give it a four, sit on it, sleep on it, and I will be back to give you guys my like official overall rating of the book and exactly how I felt after letting my thoughts sit for a night, you know? Oh, I can't even like put together sentences right now, you guys. I just am so distraught. Anyways, we finished the book, so that's another book off my TBR, which is always a good thing, but I'm really happy I picked this up because I truly did really enjoy it. It's currently March 24th, and I think I'm officially ready to give you guys the overall wrap-up of the books that we read during this reading vlog. I don't remember when I started this video. I just know it was towards the end of February. Hopefully I said the date at the beginning of the video, so editing Gianna, we'll see. But... These are the books that we completed in today's reading vlog. It's a long one, you guys, and I really hope you enjoy the longer videos. Let me know down below if you prefer longer or shorter reading vlogs because it helps me kind of know what you guys want to see from me and just how you guys like to watch my videos and what you like to watch. So make sure you guys let me know down below so I know for next time, considering this one is definitely a long one. So let me know. But anyways, to get into the wrap up, starting at the very beginning, we did finish Hot House Flower by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I was already pretty much finished this book. I think I had like 70-ish pages left when I started this reading vlog and I knew I was gonna love it before I even started this book so we did rate this a five out of five stars it is Reich and Daisy's book I'm in love with them they are definitely my second favorite couple of the addicted slash Callaway sister series no one's going to top Lillian Lowe that's just a fact at this point we both know this if you've watched my other videos so loved this book so much and loved how just because this was Reich and Daisy's book we still got so much from the other characters in this book and there were a lot of things that happened in this and a lot a lot of bombs dropped let's just say that this was a really really good time then we started and finished Final Girls by Riley Sager you guys know my love for Riley Sager at this point and I'm slowly working my way down his backlist and I really really enjoyed this one but not as much as his other one and plus because I I'm trying to rate books nowadays a little bit more harsh than I normally would or I used to. I probably would have given this a five stars a few months ago, but reading it now, I'm gonna stick with a four out of five for this one. It was really good, trust me, don't get me wrong. He still got me at the end and the plot twist and oh, we know how Riley Sager's books go. It just didn't live up to some of the other ones that I've read, so I think it's just best for this to say a four out of five. We also picked up and finished Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This was a five stars, you guys. It was my first real hockey romance book I've ever read and it just changed my life. I'm definitely in my hockey boy romance trope. Let's just leave that there because ugh, I just love it so much, you guys, and I can't wait to pick up another one. This one specifically, it was a really, really spicy book, but honestly, the spice was 100% perfect. I'm okay with a lot of spice if the characters actually have a connection, and they did, and that makes my heart just so much more full. So I highly recommend this book if you guys want a spicier romance and a sports romance. Honestly, I can't say anything bad about this book. I can't really think of anything to say bad about it. Highly recommend this. Definitely say of five stars. We then picked up and finished The Murder Game by Carrie Doyle. This was definitely not the best read of the video. Let's be honest, my reactions tell you guys it all, my update says it all, like I just wasn't feeling this book. And you saw even in my mood kind of reflected how I was feeling about this book. So this is definitely saying a two out of five stars. One of the worst reads of 2024. It honestly was almost going to be the first DNF of 2024, which is so sad for me to say. But I pushed through, I finished it, and it wasn't one star worthy but it was definitely two star worthy if that makes sense there just wasn't a lot going on didn't really enjoy the characters didn't enjoy the plot didn't enjoy like anything about this book there's not one positive thing i can really say about this book so yeah definitely worst read of 2024 so far we also picked up really good actually by monica heisey this has been on my tbr for so long you guys i've put it on my monthly tbr so many times and i tell you guys i'm gonna read it and i don't end up reading it so it was on my merch tbr i have started it i'm gonna finish it before the end of the month hopefully because i am listening to this one on audiobook along with reading alongside it like you guys have seen in the reading vlog so we did make a pretty big dent i did get to page 221 of this book it's just really boring 
saying. There's not a lot going on. The character's just kind of all over the place and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's definitely a character-driven book, which I've said in the reading vlog. Just be mindful if you do pick this up and want to get into it. It definitely is character-driven and not at all plot-based whatsoever. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to finish this before the end of the month and then you guys will be able to know my rating if you watch my monthly wrap-up at the end of March. And the last book we literally just finished was The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. I rated this four out of five and I told you guys I was gonna think about my rating and I think I'm gonna stick with a four out of five for this one. If we want to get into specifics here, I'd probably give it 4.25. I don't really like giving ratings like that, but if we have to be down to the point, I would give it a 4.25 because this book was once again just really, really, really beautifully written. It's a beautiful story. It spreads so much awareness and really shows you the ups and downs in the roller coaster of emotions and your mental health and physical health of dealing with something like this. So I'm not going to get too much into my review because you can watch my wrap up for that when it comes out. But it was just a really, really good book. And I think it was honestly the perfect book to end off this reading vlog because I have been wanting to read this for a long time and just never got around to it. So it was a good one. But those are all the books that we read in today's reading vlog. I think we did a pretty good job. I did knock down almost six books. I think that's pretty good. In just a little over a month, we basically knocked down a decent amount for my physical TBR. I feel like if I didn't take advantage of my Kindle Unlimited subscription as much this month, then I definitely would have completed more physical books. But I've been really, really enjoying Kindle Unlimited and reading on my phone right now for some reason. So I have to stay away from that because I got to get through my physical TBR. But I feel like that's maybe why we didn't get through as many. But overall, I'm just happy that we are slowly working towards getting it down because honestly it's getting out of control I don't know what to do anymore I don't know how I've accumulated this many books and I have like no room anymore for books So this will definitely become a little bit of a series I definitely want to do this video more often maybe once a month So let me know if you guys want that down below and if you enjoyed this and want to see it again Please please let me know because I love filming reading vlogs for you And this is definitely a series that would help me out and be enjoyable for you guys so but anyways, this is where I'm going to wrap up the video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's reading vlog. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know what to do. And while you're down there, make sure you check out my Patreon to join my Patreon family because they already saw my first impressions, my immediate thoughts after I finished the book of all these books here that I mentioned to you guys way before you guys are seeing this reading vlog. So make sure you guys check out my Patreon so you guys don't miss out on things like that. But other than that, I really, really, really hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yay! Mmm! Oh, fruit fly. That was kind of fancy. I don't know. I don't know. This guy is sick. I'm gonna let my sauce... I think you guys can see. Maybe? I don't know what you guys can see. Whatever. Here. Oops, I didn't stop the recording. It's okay. I'm gonna move you back a little bit guys a little too close but for right now this is what we're going to what the my hair <laughs> ew i look like a little i look like a troll why does this hood make me look like i have no neck Ugh. why am i so close to you guys is that better maybe a little bit whatever i just like to i just like to jibber jabber sometimes oh okay my bookmark such a pretty bookmark by the way anyways okay i'm shutting up now oh, I'm sorry guys I do that so much it's actually funny actually it's not funny because i'm literally gonna break my camera one day but it's fine go down go down go down good job good job okay we're ready now <sighs> just need to focus focus on one thing jonah your brain is wandering oh, the ambulance is gonna talk about it for me yes i'm wearing pants don't worry It needs to be floppy and like, it's so stiff. You're so cute, you're so cute. That's like a new record, so. Proud of myself for that. So we're just gonna see. <sighs>